In this video, I'll show you how to create backgrounds for your visual novels. I'm in the background section and I'm going to create a new background. We're on the graphics editor screen. It's exactly the same editor as for the characters. In the center is a randomly generated graphic composition. On the right, there is a panel for renaming the composition and the list of layers that make up the image. To select a graphic element, click directly on the element or click on the layer. When a layer is selected, it is surrounded by a transformation tool. Grab the center of the layer to move it. By grabbing the rotation button, you can orient it. And finally, you can adjust it by grabbing the borders. You can also change the order of layers by using the arrows in the top right hand corner. If you wish to modify the colors of an image, you have three possibilities. You can change the saturation level. You can shift the color. The interface also lets you add an RBG multiplier to lighten, darken or add a hue. Each layer is linked to an image and you can modify the picture used. I click on the asset property and the graphic assets panel opens. All available assets are listed by theme. To modify a picture, click on it. To validate, press the green button. Otherwise, press the gray button. As with character creation, you can also import your own images. To do so, open the graphic assets panel and click on the import button. I choose a picture and add it. It will always be possible to delete it if it is no longer needed. By default, a selected layer uses the transformation tool, but there is another tool, the deformation tool. It allows you to deform the image. The deformation is organic. It's very useful for characters, but can also be used for backgrounds. If you make a mistake, you can reset the warp by pressing the magic wand. We've seen how to manipulate and transform layers, but you can also add or remove layers. I'll add a layer by pressing this button. I name it and choose a graphic asset. I validate. And if I want to delete a layer, I press the trash button. As with character editing, if you're comfortable with the interface, you can unlock expert mode. This gives you access to all the properties of a layer. You can modify its position, opacity and icon. When your composition is complete, save. Congratulations, you've got a new background for your story. In the next tutorial, we'll look at how to compose a story tree. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.